Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on Beam NG Drive for a very silly challenge. We are going to be trying to drive up the, well, downhill mayhem ramp while vehicles are thrown at us. However, this time around, rather than having sort of a 1v1 competition with lots of vehicles coming down, it's going to work slightly differently. So, we are all starting at the bottom, speed beast is up at the top. Uh, they're going to throw a vehicle down. Their goal is to take out as many of us as they can. Uh, if we get to the top, we kind of progress onto a second round, and then maybe a third round or a fourth round. If you get eliminated, if you get hit by a bus, if you get hit by whatever, uh, then you will, for the next round, spawn in at the top and then also join in. And uh, we're having to do it a little bit funky to do with the way of changing cars and having vehicles rendering properly for everybody so they don't instantly, you won't instantly be sort of joining the, the, the ones downhill. It's, it, it makes sense. It's how it has to work. Um, but you'll figure it out. I don't, not sure I've done a great job of explaining. Gliska's decided to jump the star. I feel I'm half tempted to go and pit manoeuvre. That's just GTA uh, logic has decided I should go and pit manoeuvre. However, I'm, uh, I might be able to catch the Prodigy. I'm driving a K-Series because I want to go something a little bit different today. Actually, the Prodigy's not very fast. So I feel like the jump start was not all that. I don't even know if I want to lead at this point, uh, particularly. Oh, I didn't want to lift. Didn't know, I didn't want to spin longbows. I didn't want to tangle myself up involved in that. Uh, so we are allowed to... We're not allowed to go on the trail. If you go on the train line, you'll probably wreck your car. We are allowed to go on the side bits. You don't really want to be up there, though, because it does limit your options in terms of maneuverability if uh, suddenly a heavyweight is coming towards you. Where is the vehicle that is coming down here going to end up? I am not sure. Uh, so the vehicles we're all driving at 0 0.3 in terms of power to weight ratio, so they're relatively quick. They're not crazy fast, but they are relatively, relatively good. Uh, don't know where... Oh, Longbow's in two pieces! I have a feeling Longbow might have been hit. <laughs> well, just, we go over the crest, and Longbow is suddenly not a complete car anymore. And of course, the further we get, the closer we get to the top, the more difficult this gets, because the vehicles... Oh, Stevie, no, don't do that, you fool. Uh, we are allowed to node grab the vehicle upright or off the train line. Uh, as long as your vehicle is still drivable, you are allowed to. You're allowed to node grab it to recover it. But, uh, oh god, that thing there's dangerous. And once you are to the top, no, like, it doesn't matter how badly damaged, as long as it makes it to the top. Uh, we will get here. Oh dear, the brakes. <laughs> My brakes are good enough. Joe's are also not bad. Who is left? This is the this is the big question. Who have we still got left to go? Oh, Amy with the Chise. That has made it to the top. Uh, what else is left? Gliska's Prodigy. Looks like it may have taken damage, but it's still climbing. Oh, is Danger Man's Ferrari okay? It doesn't seem like it. I have a feeling that may have... That rear wheel looks bad. Oh no, the poor Ferrari. Actually, that's not the worst hit in the world. That may have actually improved it. Oh no, not quite. I don't know what's happened to that car. It looks like it should be able to drive. I'm going to guess it's lost a drive shaft, so it's one-wheel drive, and it's just spinning a wheel. That is the only real guess that I've got. So the two Italian supercars are in trouble. And well, this one here... Nope, nope, you've missed it completely. Well, I mean, that was disappointing. Unless Danger Man... Ah, oh, Danger Man didn't put a diff in it. Ah, oh, no, it so it is. It's an open diff of some sort, and a bent chassis, bent wheel snapped... Um, whatever has caused issues for that. Um, Joe's going to get a boo for the terrible pun. Well, I believe Longbow is eliminated. There, there is half a bolide somewhere. I don't know if the truck is resetting to kill the Ferrari. Stevie may have got into trouble as well. Looks like Stevie's in trouble. Yeah, okay. So there we go. It looks like three vehicles are eliminated. They, while they are still technically partially alive, they are not alive enough to climb the hill. So, there we have it. Danger Man is eliminated. Stevie is eliminated. 
And somewhere, Longbow got cut in half. Ouch. Right. On to the next round. So, after the first climb, three vehicles were eliminated, which means, well, we have three more heavyweights falling down this hill to try and murder us. It's going to be considerably more difficult now for us to make it towards the top. Uh, I mean, we're not the worst. So we're all-wheel drive in this, which is advantageous in some ways. Um, we are bright orange and are quite a big target. The Chisay, for example, is very light. It's going to have a terrible time if it gets even slightly knocked or gets hit by even by debris. But it is a small target to hit. Um... We will have to, I don't know, I don't know if I want to be first. I don't want to be too far back, but I don't know if I want to be first up the hills, really. It is a scary, scary prospect. Uh, okay, well, we've got ahead of the hopper. The hopper is going to have to follow us through this bit. Uh, the Chise is flying. Oh, up here. Okay, third gear is working for us. Uh... Right, oh god, don't do that. Don't lose the back end climbing the hill. I didn't want to have a fight with the hopper over the bit that avoids the dirt, so I, I changed direction, but the back end got really light while doing that. That was alarming. Oh crap. I see a cement mixer in a million pieces. There's lots of bits of cement mixer coming towards us. Holy crap. And there's a bus, and there's a truck, and I have a feeling brazen may have exploded and that's a I don't know what that was but it's also throwing a lot of debris at us brazen's on fire um that's alarming brazen are you okay there may be some desync but brazen might be on fire or might not be on fire I'm not 100% sure at this point I think Amy ate some debris at some point this bit here is so dangerous up here because this is the only bit this is the last bit where you don't get any forewarning and there is no sign of a heavy heavyweight that's good me and brazen might actually be able to weirdly help each other by essentially drawing and splitting their fire oh there goes the ambulance that cement mixer will not be able to turn uh now i know over this crest you know what brazen you can go, draw their fire, I'm lifting. Over this crest, there is like a purple speed bump. I'm a little worried I'm going to get here. Oh no, not this crest, next crest there's a purple speed bump. I take it back. Uh, Joe has murdered an AV. Well, the Chise is dead. So over this crest, there's a purple speed bump. Uh, oh, oh, that was very close. Uh-oh. Oh crap, don't, don't do this to me. No, I'm not in a gear. Oh, I might still be drivable. It's not good. It's not healthy. It's not the right shape anymore. Uh, oh god. No, there's a gap. Oh, there is a gap. Oh. Get out of the way of that. I'm just going to spin myself to death, I think. Uh, that's fine. Come on. There goes Joe. Uh, so I guess Joe might have pit manoeuvred uh, Amy at some point up there. We are going to make it to the top. <laughs> Holy crap, we live. Oh, we're so lucky damage is reset between rounds. What is left of my car has made it to the top. Shadow survives with the Chariot. Joe survives with the Blue Buck. Brazen's looks pretty knackered, although mine is... Mine took a big hit. If I had been in a gear, I went down one too many gears. Or if I'd gone down another gear and been in reverse. Um... We would have been fine, but yeah, we took a big impact in the door, but it it was, I say survivable, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how, but we live for another round. Actually, you should probably check, because we've still, we haven't seen if Gliska is, oh god, is moving. I'm going to guess they may not be, judging... But no, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no they aren't. I forgot that Gliskers was, was still in this. Um, I mean, was is the optimum word here. Was is the optimum word. It's now a, it's now the pain train. Oh, and splat and splat and now it's on fire. Oh, and that, well that's what's left of Amy's car. I think Amy's car's got off considerably better than that ball of metal that was once a car. 
It's not really a car anymore, is it? You wouldn't even be able to know what vehicle that started out life as. Nope, it is just crumpled ball of metal. And I think it might unceremoniously end in a pit. Oh, it bounced out. The cement mix and debris kind of hit it. Well, yeah, Gl Gliska is eliminated. That is two more heavyweights to fling down the mountain at us. So, round three. There are four vehicles remaining. Joe is the target um, from from what we have heard. Joe was causing a ruckus in the previous round. And Joe is not in this, in this chat, so I can blame who I like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the Chariot is insanely fast. We've barely seen the Chariot um, through all of this. So Shadow is going to be getting up the top of the hill first, but I don't. I genuinely don't know if that is what you want. Uh, I don't know. I think Shadow may, may possibly have opted for a... Nope, nope, never mind. I'll take it back. I think so quick. I was expecting... Perhaps Shadow to be trying a different tactic here and going for, oh, well, I think I've broken my own car immediately. Um, I'm trying the tactic, I wondered if anyone else would, mine slightly unintentionally here, of just hang back. Because they're going to aim for the cars ahead, roll, flip, twist wildly out of control, and then you have a rough idea of where they're going. Oh, Joe, I think that is Joe's, might be very broken. Uh, where the hell is that going? My frame rate's had an accident. I'm having an accident. <laughs> it's fine. Someone's throwing a bit of box truck at me. What's that? Oh, it's a pink bus upside down. It's Joe. I think Joe has been debodied, but is still alive. Nope. Don't like the look of that. Oh, God, the frame rate. Uh, there's a lot of debris. There's a lot of... This is... I, I mean, we're asking a lot of the game here. Let's be honest. No, Joe, don't hide behind me. I do not I do not want to be your shield. I know they're targeting you. I have little interest in being your... your I was going to say human shield, but I guess vehicular shield. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how Joe's car is actually still going. That looks like it's tumbling wildly out of control. That's fine. I prefer that. That's just much easier to deal with, because I know... Well, I say I know. Oh, I'm hoping you don't have the steering. There's a gap there. Oh, there was a little gap that I aimed for. I wasn't getting across in front of it. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, there was a tiny gap to aim for. That was always going to be super difficult to do. I think I made I made my move too soon is, is what happened on that one. Well, well that's going to get hit by the bus, but that's less important. Than who has made it. Shadow and Brazen have made it. Everything else is going down. Where is Joe's chassis at this point? Is that still alive? Uh, Joe's chassis is dead. Oh dear. Well, I can see... There's your problem. It's at all manner of twisted broken angle. That, that is an issue right there. I mean, no one else is going to be able to hit that. It, it's kind of stuck. Yeah. But Joe's car, I mean, it suffered quite a lot of damage early on. Did surprisingly well to keep going at that far. My my car, my car did not do very well. It was doing well. And a gap did not appear where I wanted a gap to appear. <laughs> and now we are a pancake. Well, I guess we head on to what will probably be the final round. Will anybody be able to make it up the hill? Well, that was painful. That was... That, that, <laughs> it was going... Yeah, there was, like, for a millisecond, there was a gap that appeared between the two trucks. And there was... It did not last long enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... I was already in free camp. I'm, yes, I'll be spectating. So I'll just remove my car uh, from that for the less laggy experience by little bit. The frame rate was was having issues by the end of that one. I think, I think with all the debris coming off stuff. 
These are our finalists. We have got a Hopper, driven by Brazen. We have a Cheria, driven by Shadow, but for some reason is, as I said, is astonishingly quick. Uh, it's going to be difficult this. I am just a spectator for this because it is more entertaining uh, to watch the stuff get murdered than partake in the murder. Oh, I apparently not tabbed to the right thing. There we go. Now we are. Uh, right, so we've seen how fast the chariot is. I don't know whether it's really being targeted. I feel like it's got to the top quite quickly and sort of stayed out of trouble. The downside of being further back is while you like vehicles might swerve to target earlier stuff, what might also happen to a degree is, so once, for example, the Chariot gets to the top, everybody else is going to then, well, they can't attack them, so they're going for whatever's left on the hill, and you end up having to try and survive more passes, essentially. That is a big explosion of bits from an ambulance. That's a big explosion of cement mixer parts. Shadow is through all of that quite nicely. Swerves to avoid the truck. I don't know if you wanted to swerve that way. No, it's got up the center. Good work. Brazen is through the debris field. Everyone here actually done quite a good job. So Shadow is, is riding up the center part where no one was. Brazen has got to a clear part of the track and they'll get a little breather. But of course, the closer they get to the top, the quicker the vehicles are going to be coming towards them here. It is the ambulance that is first. Oh, Shadow has got clipped, survives it. Shadow survived the clip. Brazen is fine as well. Shadow will have lost some momentum does swerve a truck oh swerves that one as well as we head up here it is frantically dodging shadow has done an excellent job brazen is also surviving very well however they've got another whole load of vehicles to dodge brazen is surviving oh shadow misses another truck that is a whole load of vehicles heading towards shadow who has oh i mean i think that's gonna count I think that's it's under the it's under the, the the viewing gantry. Oh, Brazen's in a lot of trouble. Brazen's going very slowly. Brazen has spun, I think, trying to avoid these. That's so many trucks. Oh, Brazen's flattened. Oh, does it still drive? Is the question? No, no, is the answer. <laughs> Brazen is uh, eliminated. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Shadow. I mean, controversially made it across a finish line. However, regardless of whether that made it or not, because it's technically under a grandstand, um, it was still further at the point where it left the circuit anyway. Uh, so there we go. Brazen is not okay. Funny that. I think that's Braitwell. I think that's what's left of Brazen's vehicle. It's not very much is the answer to that. And somewhere up here is our victor. Oh, there it is. I don't know. I might have dragged itself out, actually. <laughs> Amazing. It didn't have a perfect run. It got clipped. It got nudged about towards the end. It was close. It was sketchy. However, Shadow's Cheria is victorious in this very silly game mode. So, we are heading into a second game of this, and I made the stupid decision of starting on the grid next to the very, very noisy little car of bees. That is going to be its official name. Uh, there's been, I've been a couple of tweaks to my vehicle. Uh, we got rid of the front bumper just because I was worried about it causing debris. I've also maybe taken out a bit more fuel than I had previously, so yeah, power to is a little bit better. We're still, uh, you know, within the, uh, oh, oh no, that's not set up to, uh, do the countdown thing. I had to reset because my computer crashed. Um, right. <laughs> is that going to work without it being at the very start? I don't know whether it will. No, nope, that has not worked. <laughs> has to be at the very start. There we go. We are off. Do not interrupt with the countdown. Uh, we are good to go. Where is Joe? Hold on, actually. Well, we want to... Oh, there's a little lag bubble on Joe. Well, that's actually done the job, but actually, no, because now in front of Joe. I'm not sure that that's what I particularly want to be in front of, but never mind. Uh, oh, 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 that's less than great. <laughs> well, I'm blaming Joe for that. <laughs> I was actually stopping, and then we got bumped by Joe into Amy. Amy might be slightly murdered. Um, <laughs> I didn't do it, blame Joe. There is video proof. 
that it was Joe's fault, and Joe will claim that there isn't, but there is now video evidence. Um, I was kept, I was tempted to bump Amy for laughing at my rolling downhill, but I wasn't going to do that there, because <laughs> that is very mean. I saw a cement mixer of doom. Well, that might be heading, hopefully, with any luck, that is heading towards Joe. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we're doing okay here. Uh, we are climbing up the hill quite nicely. I see a brazen. There's a few cars. Quite, I mean, we've had a very scruffy run for various reasons. Um, but, uh, yeah. We, I think I think my slightly lighter, slightly redone car is a little bit better here than it was last time. We are actually catching a brazen. I don't know whether I want to, though, because this will now be a really tempting target for a cement mixer. I don't know where Cement Mixer is. There it is. It's heading towards us. It's turned. It has fallen over. We will be able to dodge that as the rear part disintegrates. Oh, although it may have hit a Danger Man. Uh, or, or Danger Man may have had a spin. I wouldn't go across like that too much. However, we are up to the top. Okay, so... The I-Series of Speed Beast and Stevie has made it. We have made it. Longbow's got there. Danger Man has got there, as has Brazen. The vehicles left to complete the climb is Joe's Blue Buck. Gliska's Prodigy. Blue Buck is still going. That looks like it will make it. Uh, where is the Prodigy? Now, Amy's vehicle got punted over the train line. By accident, I might add. It is allowed They are allowed to no-grab it back over. No, no, they're found a... Well, they are allowed to know grab it back over, but they found a way to be a train. And I don't know where Gliska... Oh, there's Gliska. Oh! That prodigy might be okay. If it gets on its wheels, so you're allowed to know grab it back up onto its wheels. That It looked like more of a clip. Does it still... It still has drive. It's... Not the most stable of vehicles. So Gliska is still going. I mean, it's an only just still going. Uh, oh, Shadow is opting to become a train as well. Oh, look out. Look out, Chizé. Look out. It's about to be a battle. No, it's not as bad of a day as it could have been. Again, that's a very lucky car. Uh, the cement mixer is visiting another grandstand, is in pieces. The Prodigy is continuing to climb. So Joe has made it. These are the last two. The Chizé has got back onto the tarmac in all of this. Uh, whoop, ignore the cursor. Uh, right. They're going to get maybe one more pass from that cement mixer to kill these. Will it remove the Chizé? Nope. Amy is through. Will it remove the Prodigy? <laughs> oh, that may be. That looks bad. That looks quite bad. There, there, there's sometimes some desync, but I have a feeling that's more than well. The rear wheel is now the highest point on the car. This guy is going for a node grabber it off. If it's got front wheel drive, it might go. The Chizé is up. Uh, I, I mean, that would that would be a long shot if that's got front wheel drive having it go. Uh, it has turned over. Oh, it has escaped away. So there is obviously. I don't think it's quite that. It's not that level of broken. Uh, on Gliska's end. So this is this is you get the Z-Sinky connection sometimes. So it has still got amazingly some drive. How? I'm not sure. It makes me wonder what level of damage is actually on this vehicle uh, if it is still managing to claw its way up. But it's still got enough steering to cause issues for a cement mixer. Cement mixer has fallen over. I mean, it's been some effort here. It has been some effort. But Gliska's, it doesn't look that broken, but Gliska has made it. We all make it, amazingly. We all have made it up to the top of the hill. Right, we all survive, so we all move on to the next round. So, everything is reset. Amazingly, we all survived the first round. I suspect that will not be the case anymore. And Amy has learned the truth, that it was not my fault that led to their... Well, not even their demise. Uh, Gliska's vehicle, while heavily broken, was also, well, funnily enough, not as broken as we were seeing it. Who would have thought that? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go see what happens here. We've got to deal with the cement mixer. I feel the cement mixer's... It's so heavy. If it hits us, it kills us, right? However... It's so top-heavy that it falls over really easily. So I'm slightly less afraid of the cement mixer than some of the normal vehicles. 
However, that being said, you know, we've still got to be very, very careful uh, with that one. Uh, I do think the slight, the front bumper gone and the slight less fuel has helped my car in terms of performance. Whether that's good or not, I don't know. See, I was going to do exactly what speed beat. Yeah, I was going to go do what speed beat. It's almost changed lanes because I was figuring the vehicle, the, the heavyweight is not going to go down this middle. It can do it. It's not going to go down it. It will next time because loads of us got up here now. But it's not likely to do that on the first pass because it's a lot more difficult to aim for. Uh, so, yeah, that was the safety play. I followed Speed Beast and I think Joe followed me. We have got one line of cars. I feel like one line of cars is a really bad idea. Because uh, if it misses one of us, it'll then probably get the next one of us. Where is it going to be is the real question. I don't want to go over here too fast. Oh, I don't know. I might have been going after someone further down. It looked like Joe has just fallen over on their own. Uh, oh, it went off after Speed Beast, off to that side. Uh, Danger Man has turned up. Ooh, Speed Beast might be in trouble. Uh, just like, it looks like the two Italian supercars are going to get first and second. They do. We are going to cross the line in third. It's the best performance we've had from our car in terms of uh, speed up the hill. But we are, we are there. We shall leave that to see. I think Speed Beast is in trouble, you know. Something was off into the trees as well. Joe is going to avoid it. The truck's not going to be able to turn in time. No, it's not interested. It's not interested in anyone else. It's just, it's, it's just determined to at least kill that one. I think Speed Beast is eliminated. It now becomes Gliska with the Prodigy. And I think that might... Oh, and Amy's Chizé. We haven't seen where that has been. It, oh, <laughs> and the cement mixer is over. Oh, the Prodigy has fallen over as well. But the momentum has taken it across the line. <laughs> prodigy makes it. So we know Speed Beast is eliminated. Nope, the Chizé is still going. It, it, a huge amount of noise. Uh, but it is still making the climb. Will it be able to... Oh, it's going to have... It's got a bad... Oh, oh no, he's not going to make it. There were no good options there. So us going up the hill can't see nameplates. The vehicles going down can see nameplates. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. That's... Oh. <laughs> it's just a wheel. <laughs> the the Chizé is, is not... It's not living... That's very out. That's very eliminated. Uh, that, I mean, that was actually quite quite good work from from uh, Shadow there. The only options for Amy was to go across these speed bumps, and they're bad for the Chazay at the best of times, but yeah, that thing is so damaging. Uh, so that is the Chazay eliminated. Amy is out. Speed Beast with the I-Series. That is also eliminated. I think that's everyone. I don't know quite why the truck's going down again. Oh, Stevie! I did not realise Stevie was still going. Stevie has been chucked off the train line. I don't know what happened to Stevie. Um, now, will that be able to get back over? Now, we're allowed to node grabber them over the train line if they get stuck. But, of course, you are stationary for a long period of time when you do this. So, the vehicle may well... Yeah, here we go. Stevie's trying to get it over. Uh, but, yeah, the vehicle coming down is going to have pretty free reign to hit you. If it can get there! And I'm going to say, yes, it can. That's a big hit as well. Not as big as the uh, the hit on the on the Chise, but that's both I series gone. Well, Steve, Stevie's got a wheel that turns, but uh, yeah, that's that's not not going to be carrying on the climb up here. Well. Three vehicles eliminated. I mean, that's perhaps more of what we would expect. It's amazing we got through the first round all surviving. Uh, three are eliminated on this round. The Prodigy, the spectacular finish from that to be upside down. We move on to the next one. And then there were six. Uh, the two Italian supercars are still here. The Prodigy is here. The Hopper. I guess you've got the two Italian supercars close together. The Prodigy and Hopper, kind of similar. And then there's a classic American race car. And me with a K-Series. Kind of, I guess you could kind of say race cars. Uh, a little bit. Mine is an all-wheel drive spec, though. Mine is a front bumper because I didn't want any debris to be an issue. But, you know, uh, let's go see what may happen here. Uh, I don't know what quite what we're going to see in this one. Um, 
we we've survived well so far, but this has suddenly gone up really uh, in difficulty. This has gone up a lot. Uh, can I? Oh, oh god! I wanted to get in front of Gliska before going through this bit, and then I got a little bit close. I'm slightly misjudged how close we were to that bit. Danger Man is slowing down, not wanting to be the first up here. I, uh, I was pondering that strategy. I sort of tried it, but I, I think I honestly think we're better off just going for. I think we're better off going for speed at this point. Get as close as you can because you just have less. Jeez, that Ferrari is quick. I cannot match that for pace, considering Danger Man slowed down and then has picked up speed again. Oh! Ow! Ow! That was a truck wheel to the face. That has done significant damage. Danger Man and Brazen are stuck together. My car is okay. And I'm going to use that as the, the loosest okay. That was just debris. That was sheer debris damage. Because uh, we got on the brakes to avoid the tumbling bits of truck. Uh, and there's a couple of cars further up. Longbow, I think that's Longbow leading the climb. Uh, I don't know if Danger Man or Brazen are okay. They are... They all... Oh, my steering is clearly not. Uh, right. I know what... I can't really... Well, oh, I can steer very sharp to the right. Cannot steer left. Got to really slow down to steer left. Oh! My wing! No! All of the downforce, I needed that! Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's less fine. I'm going towards a pit. Can't steer. Can't steer away from the pit. So, what I'm, my plan entirely is to use the fact that my car turns super sharply to the right as a way of... Oh! There we go. That will outmaneuver a cement mixer. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. K-Series, go. I think we can make it to the top before any more of them spawn. That'll do. We're across. Me and Longbow have made it. Two of us are up at least. So, that, we took a big hit to the front of our car. Who is still going? That is the question. Uh, we are whizzing along down here. I, I mean, the hopper looks pretty poorly. Uh, the prodigy is definitely gone. The hopper... The hopper's not moving. It actually looks in half-decent nick. I'm going to guess debris damage may have caused that. So, Danger Man. Danger Man's in a pit. That's the end of Danger Man. Glisk is on a train line. They're broken. Joe is a long way down and broken. <laughs> God, that was a punishing round. And then there's Brazen, uh, who is left... But I'm surprised no one else has hit into that, because that actually—it's I mean, obviously not working. So I don't know what—I don't know what damage has gone on. Um, yeah, that was destructive. I mean, we're not surprised by that, perhaps. But uh, there we go. Wow, it's going to be a one v one for the final showdown. I am worried. <laughs> I am—I am worried. I think this is going to be tough. So it is the grand final. Uh, it's me versus Longbow. We have the K-Series. I mean, the advantage I've got, I'm all-wheel drive. And my car is not going to split in two. The uh, bow line is faster. Pretty much that's the... <laughs> Longbow will get to the top quicker than me, and there's very little I can do about it. My car may ride a hit, may... You know, even like a debris-based damage, I think I will survive a little bit better. And we are all-wheel drive, which gives me a little advantage. I don't think either of us are making it to the top. I'm going to give it a damn good go, though. We're going to see what we can do in this. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I mean, the, the, the mess that goes on at the hill was incredible. I'm not going to lie. Last time around... We, I don't know whose wheel we did collect, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm actually not sure where that wheel came. It was a Julie of some sort, so <laughs> that doesn't really help because most of the vehicles have got Julies going on. Uh, we are currently leading the climb, but this is, I think my car's not quite geared right for this. We kind of end up in between gears a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, the debris field. Uh, okay. Oh, more, another wheel's... Oh, God. Well, a bumper has, has punctured a tyre. Oh! Oh, that's a fuel tank. Okay, we are still... 
I mean, we do still at least move, right? We've eaten a fuel tank. So that is the advantage Longbow had being able to get up there faster than me. Uh, is that Longbow... Oh, God, I don't think I've got steering. Ah, oh, crap. I don't think I have any steering left. Uh, now, we, as I said, we are allowed to no grab of the vehicles to get them off the train line, uh, which we have done. Okay, do I have enough steering to continue this? Uh, oh, God, not really. Not really. It's debris again that got us. And I could, like, honestly, that field of debris would have been super difficult for me to do anything about. It's just luck at that point. The wheel, it was a smaller wheel that got us this time. Uh, do I try this? Are they going to think that I will go up here? I don't know if I have the steering, actually, to realistically go up here, because my vehicle is wandering so badly. I mean, I... <laughs> I'm partially hoping Longbow is eliminated. Because otherwise, we don't, I don't think we're winning this. I think Longbow may well be winning this. Uh, if any of them know where I am, I'm about to meet a truck at the crest of this hill. Because uh, I cannot go up here quickly. A couple went past. They may have told people where I am. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, the bus missed. Either Longbow's made it. Or they're just all gunning for me. Oh! oh! That's us dead. Yeah, that's us dead. That, I mean, it wasn't the biggest of hits, but oh, we're very much gone. Don't know where the longbow made it. We are off down the mountain. Where is longbow? Uh, we are gone. Longbow. Longbow is off, but longbow is off further up than me, I think. No, longbow has gone off the other side. I don't think we made it quite that far. No, we only just made it. We made it. We got close, actually. We got close to where Longbow went off, but I do believe Longbow has got slightly further than we did. I mean, we've ended up at painfully down here. Uh, so it was actually quite a close finish in the end, despite the heavy damage uh, done to the front of my car by one of these fuel tanks. Uh, could have been from this truck. Could have been from anybody else's, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, damn. Case Zero has actually put up a really good fight this time around. I'm pleased with that. Uh, this is a very silly game mode. Uh, my computer cries a little bit, quite a lot bit, actually, with this one. Um, it broke <laughs> it broke once in the middle of filming. It, yeah, this it, it has some issues. It's great fun. It is fantastic fun. This kind of alternate version of the Shredder. Um, yeah. But there we go. Second place. I'll take it. I, I shall take it. Uh, and there were some very funny wipeouts along the way. Um, but there we go. That is going to be it for this video. I'll put a link to this map in the description if you want to download it and have a go with it yourself. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.